It's eating me alive. Hi friends, Linda here from my fancy homestead. How are you today? I thought we're gonna be making something different today. I'm on my lunch break, I want some pasta and I thought about making pasta and then I thought that it is very boring to make normal pasta because I want to try something different, so I want to try something new. We're gonna make multicolored pasta. <laughs> so I looked it up, what I need, I have most of the things. I have a one very sad beetroot <laughs> and one purple cabbage. I, I got this for eating fresh because spring's coming, everyone wants salad, everyone wants to lose weight, etc, etc. But we could basically cut half uh, a cup of this, I need to boil this, I need to boil this as well. And then we can make pasta out of it. This should make purple one, this should make red one. So excited. Let's do this, let's do it really fast because my lunch break will be over otherwise and I will not be able to do anything else. The beetroot and the cabbage has finished boiling and we are ready to start. I got pasta flour as well because I wanted to see how it differentiates from normal flour. Who knows? What we're gonna do today is because I want to make so many little batches, we're just gonna do it in a food processor instead of with hands because I need to blend things with it. Oh. And I got myself eggs as well. I have a little, well, not a little, it's quite a big um, uh, chicken farm around the corner. So I go there and I get eggs. I went there this morning and I managed to get like a reject. I don't know if you can see it, but it's definitely not the right shape. It has like little ridges and these are all of the rejects that they can't sell to the shops. So you can buy them cheaper. <laughs> but the eggs are completely fine. This is gonna be another experiment to see if it actually happens correctly. Because I read that you can make it in the blender. Well, not really a blender, food processor, but I don't have a food processor. So this is the next best thing. Because it chops things on the bottom, right? I am so excited. That's about one cup, one cup of pasta flour, one large egg. I'm, I'm just picking from the tray of eggs. <laughs> and one cup of spinach. So I'm kind of smooshed this all in, but come out, come out. That's a lot of spinach. And I missed. And apparently now we blend it like we mean it. We all got stuck on the sides. I'm just trying to get it off the edges so it mixes evenly. Maybe I should start with like pureeing whatever I'm putting in like spinach, puree it, like turn it into a puree and then put the flour in because this looks a bit chunky it definitely did something feels like pasta <laughs> Cool, I just need to rinse this now and then it's gonna be ready for the next. But this one, oh wow. Look, it's green. <laughs> I don't want to try too much because what if it doesn't come together and you know, I don't manage to get it right and I'm gonna waste a lot of flour but if I try a little piece at a time and then see how it influ influences the taste as well, 
because each of this will probably taste a little bit different than normal pasta, you know, because normal pasta doesn't have a much of a taste. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Isn't that awesome? Now we just need to let, let this rest for half an hour and in the meantime I'm gonna make the rest of them. I have five different colors planned. <laughs> no wait, four I think. Four different colors planned, yes. I couldn't make the, the fifth one because I do not have any pepper at home and it asks for orange pepper and isn't that nice? I'm just so excited about these. Let me get some cling film for this. Let me rinse this out. I'm gonna do the next one now and that's gonna be yellow. Instead of spinach we're gonna add turmeric powder, one teaspoon to one cup. I like that the base is the same for everything and then you just keep adding bits to it as you go. One of these lovely things. Even my lid is already sunshine yellow. And then we're picking up another large egg from this batch of eggs. I think this one, the, the really pretty one. So this one is actually the worst, the yellow one thus far because it is very very dry like there's no like wet ingredients so it's just dry i have added a little bit of water to get it a bit more pliable because it was literally crumbling and falling to bits on its own i think i'm gonna let it rest now because i don't know if i'm gonna get it any better <laughs> it's very very tough <laughs> We're gonna be doing the third one now. One cup of flour, one egg. Um, which one's the biggest now? I think this one might be it. Coming with me. It's a storm outside today. It's like really, really strange because um, I'm thinking we might lose a, a fence pass post again so and then one cup of purple cabbage that's been boiled it's so dark now I'm just I don't know how much is a cup so I'm literally putting it in the cup measuring thing and figuring it that way there we go that's a cup a one cup and then one teaspoon half a teaspoon of baking powder to keep the color. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. So we have issues. At which point it's not pasta, but it's a dough. I think the um, the cabbage was wetter than anticipated, so I will probably need to add more flour to this because it's literally walking. <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit too sticky still. I need to take my rings off. Put them in the pocket so they don't disappear. I think I'm gonna take it out. It's definitely less goopy, less like pancake mix, more like pasta, potentially. Come out. Come out. That is very goopy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but look, it's purple. Well, it looks gray on the, on the camera. Here's the purple one. What do you think? It's gonna be resting now.
Now for the last one, I'm gonna get really red hands now because this is red beetroot and as we know, it colors everything red for a long, long time. So I'm trying to do this as fast as possible and then I'm just gonna drop it into the blender, <laughs> add the rest of it on top and hopefully this is not gonna be too much moisture as well because, well, the cabbage was. I don't know, is this a cup? Is this less of a cup? I don't know. Look at my red hands. One beetroot. Wash my hands. Okay, we're ready for the flower now. Whoa. Well, that's okay. One cup of flour and one large egg. Okay, the red one's kind of ready, but I don't know what's going on with it. It's um, doing some weird things. It feels like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> it's eating me alive. <laughs> ah. Why did I put it on both of my hands? I have no idea. I just need to get it off. Yeah, come on. Come off. Ah. thing is it doesn't stick to each other to itself either it's just like it's consistency of I don't know what I'm gonna go wash my hands so I had a question of seeing if it would stain my hands red in a dough format it does not which is great so we can just get this out I'm using spatula this time I'm getting smarter and then we are gonna add some flour to it Come out, come, come, come out, come out, come on, everything's gonna be fine. Come here, good boy. Anyone else ever talk with inanimate objects? Apparently it's the first signs of madness. Second sign is when they answer. I am terrible at jokes. Like, look at that. There's little chunks of beetroot in it, so I think there's definitely going to be a different taste to it as well than normal pasta. So I will probably cook it separately in each pot, not only because it will probably bleed the color as it's cooking, but because of the taste as well. And then I can decide which one I actually, look, look at this, which one I actually like. <laughs> By taste. <laughs> I need to tidy this up. It's getting a bit overwhelming. That's the third, fourth one. So this one is the last one. It's making my hands really red. But now it's gonna go and rest. And my lunch break is over. And I'm gonna go and uh, continue work. I'll see you after work. Bye! What do you guys think? They have come out of the cellophane now and I'm about to start rolling them out and I think they will look really really good. I think I will have problems with the red one because it is very soft. The yellow one looks to be like the nicest one of them all thus far and I think I will not have trouble with rolling it. So we're gonna try with yellow one first, easiest one. <laughs> And then we just continue on with that. Here's the rolly thing that we're gonna use. And we're gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna do it in sheets because then I can, well, I could cut them straight away because I have a cutter as well. And I'm very excited. Let's try this. I'm so 
nervous. <laughs> you should probably take the ball out, right? Because then there's more room. Haha! -ha. There is ideas in the madness. Okay. Okay, okay. I may or may not have gone to the smallest setting straight away. <laughs> Whoops, Whoops. Glorious. I'm in love. <laughs> Look at that. That's so perfect. It's so thin. And the edges are kept straight as well because the machine is kind of pulling it at the edges. Look, it's the same consistency, not the ends, you know, like the ends, but like here-ish where it's like pulling in at the same speed. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Pop you here so you can see it better. I'm gonna go one more smaller. You know, I could probably get it straight by folding it and then folding it again and then it's going to be seriously straight instead of a round ball and then all of the pasta will be the same length as well. Shall we do that? Or shall we not? Because this already looks awesome and we just cut it. Now the question is, do we cut this in half and then cut it in strips or do we cut it like a whole strips? I think I'm going to cut it in like half because I don't think I will be managing <laughs> so many strips. That does not look very stable but that's where it's going to dry until I cook it because I want it to have a little bit of like, you know like a dried edge a little bit while I cook the rest. There we go. Isn't that nice? Here comes the scary part. That is so much faster and so much better than anything I could do by hand. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pop these onto my thingy to dry. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> the problem is the ones that have vegetables mixed in, you can tell that they are not really good and I shouldn't hang them up. I'll be literally taking them off and putting them on the trays to wrap around like this on, um, on horizontal because they are stretching and then there's not enough 
I think egg is not holding it together well. But otherwise, the colors are awesome. <laughs> and I will boil them separately. I will boil the red one, definitely. I think red one will uh, bleed a lot. And then to keep the colors of each of them. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing with it until it just breaks and falls to bits. Anyways, it has been fun. I need to go and cook the dinner and I'm thinking probably the yellow and the green pasta. I don't want to mix too many tastes like flavors together, but I'm thinking the yellow and the green gonna go together tonight with some meatballs and the pasta sauce that um, I have made from last year. Anyways, I hope you liked it and this experiment. It's been very fun. Thank you very much for coming along and I shall see you next time. Bye friends. Most of it will, the other ones will be frozen. Bye. Postscriptum. If you like, subscribe and uh, oh yeah, I have <laughs> postscriptum scriptum. I think I planted my corn too early. Do you like this one? This one. He's white. He's completely white. And that one's yellow. This one's yellow. And then the rest of them are green. Different shades of green, but they more or less look very uniform on the camera. But this one, I don't know how it's gonna survive. Maybe it won't, but it's been documented that it existed and it's lovely. <laughs> My white corn. <laughs> Bye friends.